In addition to the print books we have in the North High Library, we also offer digital books that you can read or listen to on a number of devices. Today, I'm going to show you how to access these books through the Sora app. The Sora app looks the same on both Android and iOS. A little blue trash can flying across the sky like a superhero. I already have it installed on my phone, but if you don't, then pause the video here and head to your app store to download it. Because I've already used Sora, it has Torrance Unified School District selected as my school. If no school or the wrong school shows when you open Sora, click on Not Your School, Switch Schools. The app should ask if you'd like to use your location to choose a library, to which you can agree or not. If you don't want to use your location or it gets your location wrong, then you can search for Torrance Unified School District. Because you're a TUSD student, you're going to select TUSD students to log in. Staff and faculty like me will choose TUSD staff. Students, you'll use, you'll use your school computer login information to get into Sora. That's your student ID number for your username and your student ID number plus two letters for your password. Faculty, your username is your last name dot first name and your password is the same that you use to get onto the district provided laptops. Paras have had success logging in as students instead of staff. So if your staff and Sora isn't recognizing you, try using your same login info, but signing on as a student instead. The app should take you to your home screen where you'll find whatever you're currently reading through the app anything that you've recently highlighted, made a note on, or looked up, and a recommendation for books or things you might like based on your checkout history. Clicking on the Explore Lab, Explore tab at the bottom of the page, brings you to lists of books featured in our library. Something appropriate to the current season is generally first on the page, but right under are the digital versions of books that you read in your English classes here at North High, our most popular digital books, and our newest titles. Keep scrolling to see books grouped by genre. Of course, you can also search books by title, author, subject, or keyword. I may want to read up on voting and elections before November, for example. The first two results are the audio and ebooks of the voting booth, which is a very cute rom-com, but the next results look informative. I'm going to click on a title to learn more about it. Here, I can read a summary or even a sample of the book or add it to a list of books I want to read later. If I scroll down, I find the topics that apply to the book and other books that are like it. Of course, if I want to read the whole thing, I'll go back up to the top whee, and click on borrow. Sora will immediately open the book on my phone for me. To read it, just swipe forward and backward. I'm an old person and I don't love to read on my phone. Too small and too bright for me. I'm going to use my back button until I can see the shelf tab at the bottom of the page. When I select this, I'm taken to my personal collection of everything I currently have checked out. Next to the book I just borrowed, I'm going to click Options. On this page, I can renew the book if I haven't finished it by the due date, or return it if I'm done early. Most useful for me is that I can send it to a device, specifically my Kindle. Another great feature I'd like to show you is how to add other libraries to Sora, thereby expanding your list of available books. Click the three bar menu in the upper right hand corner of the app and under libraries, click add library. We have an agreement with the Torrance Public Library that we can access their digital books through Sora without even having to have a library card because we're all part of the same community. So I'm going to search for Torrance Public Library and click on it when I find it. 
Because Sora is meant for kids and young adults, I'm going to filter out the little kids stuff by clicking on audience and selecting young adult. Of course, the excellent thing about digital books is that they aren't easy for others to see, like a print book that you have to hold in your hand is. So if you want to read the entire Timmy Failure series, you can absolutely do that without explaining yourself to anyone. We only have the first three books in the library. At any rate, the first time that I go to borrow a title from my newly added library, it's going to ask for my credentials. Uh, let's... yes! Wonderful! Skeleton Steve's Diary. Zombie Hunter Player Team The School Kids Book 1. Um, when I hit on borrow, again, it's going to ask for my uh, credentials. So I'm going to use what I used before to log in again. Now I'm ready to go and won't have to do that second sign on again. If I go back to the explore tab, I can see that I'm currently in the Torrance Public Library and I can use the drop down menu just beneath the word explore to go elsewhere if I want to. As you can see, I have a bunch of libraries in here. You can add those outside of Torrance if you have a digital or regular library card from that system. I think that's all you need to know to start using Sora, but if you have questions, please see library staff for assistance.